All right, I'll catch you later. I gotta run to the bank. Oh yeah? Yeah, I ran out of money in my checking account, so I gotta make a transfer over from my savings. Transfer? Yeah, how else am I supposed to pay my rent? You just write a check from your savings account. Done deal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would know if you could do that. Let me see your checkbook. All right. You just write a check like you normally would. And then in the memo space, you write, please take this money out of my savings account. With a little smiley face in case the teller is having a bad day. This works. Every time. All right, thanks, I'll try it. I really hope you don't actually do that. Your checking account and savings account are two very different things with very different features. Here's what you need to know. A checking account is where you put your money if you need easy access to it. And yes, you get a checkbook and a debit card so you can make withdrawals. Checking accounts place comparatively fewer limitations on where and when you can deposit or withdraw your money. So the balance of your account likely ebbs and flows with your expenses and income. Because of this turnover rate, however, the balance in your checking account does not earn interest, making the account an ineffective savings vehicle, but a highly effective transactional one. The opposite is true for a savings account, which is intended to be a tool for investing rather than spending. Savings accounts are largely inaccessible compared to checking accounts, not offering a checkbook or debit card, and requiring either a withdrawal or a transfer to a checking account in order to spend its contents. This is by design, of course, because when left untouched, the balance of your savings account accrues interest over time, suitable for long-term wealth building. There's also a major difference between the two accounts in the eyes of banks. You see, the the classical banking business model relies on collecting interest off of loans, and those loans are funded by the bank's savings account deposits. Don't worry, your money will be there when you need it, but until you do, the bank lends it out to other customers. Just make sure your bank and account are FDIC insured. With checking accounts, money may be withdrawn quickly and unexpectedly, so it's not in the bank's best interest to lend it out. That's why checking accounts have some fees that savings accounts don't have. But when it's 3 a.m. at a creepy gas station in the middle of nowhere and you need to fill up your tank, you'll be glad your checking account is there to foot the bill, fees and all. Savings accounts and checking accounts are used for drastically different reasons. So if you really do need to pay your rent today, please go to the bank and don't try to write a check from your savings account. But I will say the smiley face was a nice touch as far as mistakes go. Hey there, I'm thinking we should see more of each other. If you'd like to watch more of my explanations, subscribe to Mashable's YouTube channel right there.